All right, guys, I'm asking for some help for me solving this Joseki problem. Which one of these outcomes do you guys think is best? So the Joseki, well, it's like a variation pattern I'm talking about. Uh, black kicks, white extends, but instead of going over here, black does a pincer over here. So what's the best move for this? One solution is the cut. Um, Atari's this way. Take this first. And then black gets 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, about 15 points. But white gets this influence. Is this an okay? What do you guys think about this result? That's result one. So there's a couple of other things I've actually tried. You obviously can't like come out because this is this results like garbage for uh, white because this is obviously like a losing exchange all the way and you're never really going to be able to beat this in uh beat this group in terms of liberties and he can always just take this so all these exchanges garbage for white so you can't do that so the question is how does white deal with this the other option is double hane but then you know like black has the option to just do this now i guess like I don't like losing these two stones, and I don't think this is enough influence. If I had other uh, stones over here, I guess this would be okay. Um, I mean, black doesn't have to do this. He can go up here too. So that's result number two. I don't know if you guys like that or not. I don't I don't see it as an even exchange. I like it a lot more for black, um, uh, if that actually happens. Yeah, because you have to do this, and then he connects... You're not, you're going to want to settle one of your groups. So you, you choose this one. You're not going to do this because you don't want him to do that, obviously. But you just do this. Oh, whoops. You just uh, take. He If he Atari's, you ignore him. Um, but he's probably not going to Atari, so he's going to do this. And if you do this, he'll ignore you because uh, in the beginning, that's too much. That's too way too slow for a Tanuki. So that's result number two. And this one where you essentially just kind of do this. I guess you don't have to exchange that, but it does kind of cover your cut. So I guess you would kind of exchange it or you would just leave it, it doesn't really matter. Um, you would have to play this out like a little bit like this or something. You give up a lot of territory or, I mean, you can do this anytime. You can honestly do this anytime. You give up a lot of territory, but you gain a lot of influence. But the stone is kind of annoying here because like you would want to like have like, like a big space jump, but you have this stone here. Of course, you would probably just attack the stone right now. So that's result number three. So which one of those results do you guys think is actually best? I mean, obviously black doesn't have to do all that, but I've found that most opponents will at least go to there. I mean, obviously this is not good for black because, well, I mean, I guess he can connect, disconnect. So you would, like, once he does this, you would probably do this, solidify his corner, and then just take the influence outside. So that's result number three. So which one of those results do you think is best for white? I'm I'm trying to figure out, like, the best play for white in this kind of situation. I'm not very familiar with this kind of Joseki, and that's kind of one of the weaknesses to my game right now. I actually purposely, like, tried to force this Joseki a couple times, and that's why I actually lost several games uh, like in a row at one queue because I was trying to force this Joseki in a game and that didn't really turn out well I, I was just trying like random variations and I came up with like huge losses like just to start the game and I was just like all right I'm just gonna resign because I was just trying to play out this variation I wasn't really trying to play the game all that much I was trying to force certain, like I was just trying to force the Joseki uh, I still got upgraded from one queue to one down because I won enough games before I tried doing this test but I want to know what your thoughts are on uh, this particular sequence of Joseki um, I think like for this, you probably need to be at least around like two Q one down to really like have a good comment on this because a lot of the variations that I tried, uh, just didn't really work. Uh, this one extend, this one actually does work. Um, and essentially, yeah, I think I like this one the best for white, uh, because it's not too many points in the corner, and now this stone's weak, but it is Gote, unfortunately. It is Gote, unfortunately. Because it's Gote, I don't really like it all that much. Because then he has freedom to do like stuff like this over here, which I really, really don't like. So, 
let me know what you think. Uh, let me know like what you think uh, the best solution is for this Joseki because I am very, very uh, concerned, confused uh, about like what to play here. So let me know. And uh, which one do you think is the best? Or do you have another variation that I should actually try? All right. I'll see you guys later.